So working on this bigger tutorial for my Gumroad and for my Patreon and you guys can go check that out. I will have a link when it's available. Probably gonna take a couple weeks, you know, in between that nine to five job and doing this. And so what I'm going over right now is going to be uh, just like a little pro tip, if you will, on Philogix PBR Painter Pro and in the height information. And so if you wanna get some extra height and definition and something cool like this, I consider it cool anyways and be able to control that with the opacity setting and the mix setting up here then stick around it's gonna be a pretty quick one and I'll show you how to do it all right on with the current project I'm gonna switch back over to the EV just so it's not um, lagging up now I've already got all this saved I'm gonna go ahead and save it anyways new pick shader I'd already named it cliff one and then of course you're gonna go in and select your ambient, your normal, edge mark curvature, and I'm actually using version two. So you can do three or two, this works the same. You just have to find your brushes in either the blender kit or elsewhere. And so I'm gonna use 2048 and six as my quality and then I will bake that and be right back. Here we go, collapse my bake as usual drop down the presets, scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm actually gonna leave this at UV. Then I'm just going to go in and drop the concrete that I had on here. And I had concrete clean. And I always just kind of thought that looked pretty good. I'm just gonna change the color a little bit though to roughen it up. Maybe it make it look a little bit more like a rock in my current background. And then I kind of just zoom in a little bit here. Control and middle mouse will bring you in. Now underneath the paint layers here, since I've got the base, I'll just call this base. And that's my technical name for it. And so I'll add a custom layer and I'll just grab the little paint brushes right here. Click that one time, scroll to the bottom, click paint, select whatever it is that you did. If you did 512, do that. If you did 8192, go for it and click OK. And then in version two, you've got these six different brushes you can use. And I oh, let's drop that custom paint channel in. Click paint 2048. Now it seems like it's already working a little bit better, right? All right, so here's some cracks. Uh, these look pretty good, actually. Can bring the brush up and just give it one little click in here. And it's doing a lot of work, so I'm not really going to like drag the mouse because it probably crashed Blender. Don't need that. And for the fun of it, I'll just grab my brush and bring it down a little bit and go for something wild. Because I'm probably going to turn this into a sci-fi scene anyways. Because that's just kind of how I roll. Alright, that's good. Not going to do too much. I've got a lot going on in the scene. I didn't minimize any of that. So I'm going to click Finish. I'm going to anchor this, or rather tell Philogix this is an anchor, go over to height, I'm going to drop the anchor down, and pick material to be. Now if I had renamed this to cracks, and then went back down here, you'll see it's cracks. Now I turned down the mix and the opacity completely. And hopefully you can see that on YouTube. And if I turn it all the way up, it doesn't really give it much. So what we want to do is just give it a little bump, right? And what we want to do is come in here. We will change the layer to, and just so you know, it's kind of like if you go through, you've got color dodge and all these things just like when you're in the main blender texture nodes you've got these options you can do these and get more familiar with them and if you don't know something um, the blender manual does go over a lot of this stuff for you just gives you like a little basic of it but for this one I'm gonna switch this to value and what that's gonna do is you can see what just happened there is it just raised everything up like I showed you in the beginning and so you can kind of go through some of these and choose some different values, try some things out. You can see how it actually is raising the texture up. 
and the opacity kind of brings it and smooths it in and out however you want to do it but anyways just real quick tutorial on that to give you just a little extra information on how you can get that actual bump out of it get a little a little more height out of it to make it look good thanks for watching smash that like and subscribe button see you guys in the next video